This is a demonstration of the Hioki 8870 uh, memory recorder uh, slash oscilloscope, two channel oscilloscope. I think it's got also four channels of digital uh, recording as well. Okay, the first thing when you turn on the power, you're presented with a setup wizard. If you've got a signal going into your, uh, I've got one going into uh, channel one, a uh, five volt, one kilohertz TTL signal. Um, so you got a signal going in, you can do the setup wizard and it will auto range. That's the first thing it's going to do is warn you that it's going to change everything. And then it gives you the option to do auto range. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now it's going through and picking the right uh, volts per division and time base. Um, so it went and did that. So here's the enter key here in the middle. Press next. Um, so you can change the uh, volts per division range. Maybe I want something that will take up half the screen instead of the full screen. So I'll change it from 500 milli to 1 volt and press enter and then down to next enter um, channel 2 you can change that one as well um, I'm not going to do anything with channel 2 right now uh, now it's going to set the uh, time axis range and that's fine next and trigger level is fine level triggered next uh, the level is 5 volts. I, I don't like that. I think I want to put it down to 2.5 volts. Something more, uh, half the range of the signal. Uh, there we go, 2.5 right there. Next, uh, slope positive. Yeah, next. Uh, uh, channel 2 triggers off. Next. And this is for how much recording um, you want to keep before the trigger occurred. We don't care about that for now next and it's uh, trigger mode is repeat which is what we want rather than just once and uh, measurement so go ahead and click enter and it'll start so now it's recording that signal you can um, change uh, the time base right here on the screen on the end uh, you know you can change your time base um, enter uh, you can go down and change the uh, volts per division right here there's 500 milli, there's back down to 1 and 2. The problem is when you go to a uh, larger volts per division, you lose your trigger and you'd have to go and reset your trigger. For some reason, um, uh, the trigger is lost. Uh, so if you do change volts per division, go to a higher value, you probably have to go and rechange and change your trigger. Uh, in order to do that, let's go to 2 volts, okay, enter, and to do that, you have to press start stop and then set up up here. So start, stop, and set up. Um, and here's the main setup screen. You can go down to uh, channel 1 is in this area. There's uh, volts per division that I set on the main screen. Uh, you can move it up and down. Position, DC coupled, and here's the trigger. And the level for the trigger is 5 volts, and that's the problem. For some reason, it, I lost the 2.5 volt setting that I chose. So there you go, 2.5 volts. Now we're going to trigger properly, and I can get out of here just by pressing uh, uh, start stop. And now it's running. Now let's say I want to move that up. So you know, like if I press setup while it's running, it'll just beep at me. Um, so you have to stop and press setup, and you can now let's move that uh, signal up to the top half of the screen. So we pick uh, position and we push the up up arrow, and it moves it up. And you can see where the bottom of the signal is over on the left hand side. Uh, right now it is um, there. There it's in the center now. Um, that's good. And we we'll press run again. And there's my signal. I can move the other guy out of the way. I'll go to uh, channel 2 down here and move him down. And uh, there he is, down to zero. And there we go, got a nice signal. Now I could connect an input into channel 2.